welcome everyone again to the second Deliberative Democracy Summer School and Jamboree. That, uh, that, was, Nicole, that was one of Nicole's terms. Um, following the Trump theme that, uh, uh, that, that Mark introduced, um, I suppose you should say this is going to be the greatest ever Deliberative Democracy Summer School. We have the best people presenting, <laughs> both, both, both students and, uh, and, uh, and other presenters. But seriously, we, do, we, do uh, we really do have a great group of people uh, here. And uh, it's been, you know, I mean, I've, I've met uh, many of you um, the last couple of days. So, so I'm looking forward to a really good, um, a really good three days. Um, but I suppose more seriously on the Trump theme, that uh, uh, we are, as, as Mark points out, in, in very uh, sort of interesting and challenging times when it comes to deliberative democracy uh, in, in particular. Um, that if people, um, I mean, if, if people, pe people who are sort of non-specialists ask me, well, what, what do I do? Uh, what's deliberative democracy? Then and one, one sort of shorthand is to say, well, it's the opposite to political communication of the, of the approach that, uh, that Trump takes. So that's a, um, so that's a, a, sort, of a, a sort of a simple um, kind of one-line one line response. But obviously the sort of more detailed response is that we need to sort of think long and hard about the prospects for redeeming deliberative democracy in these uh, seemingly uh, 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 hostile, hostile circumstances. Um, before I say, I was going to say a few words about our center. And before I do that, I'd like to thank uh, uh, Nicole for putting all this, this together. Um, and also um, uh, Juliana Roja for doing uh, all the, uh, a lot of the organizational work. And um, they've both done a terrific job in, uh, in making things uh, run smoothly and uh, um, enabling this to, to happen. Um, as well as, um, again, thanking, uh, thanking Mark for the support of the Institute for Governance and Policy Analysis. Um, so the Center for Deliberative Democracy and Global Governance is now um, one of the three uh, uh, constitutive centers of the um, Institute for Governance and Policy Analysis. We've been at the uh, University of Canberra for three years now, and uh, we've really flourished in this, this setting. Um, uh, our deeper history is, is a bit longer. We were at Australian National University before moving here. Um, so we're at least 10 years old now. Um, our exact age is a, is a matter of, uh, uh, of, of some uncertainty. It's when we actually began. We sort of evolved into existence. Um, but we are now the largest deliberative, center in, deliberative democracy center in the world. Um, we have um, uh, uh, eight academic staff, and you're going to be hearing from them all. Um, we have um, uh, um, eight PhD students. Um, so uh, we are, um, as I say, in, in terms of numbers, we're, we're by, I think we're by far, we're by, we're by far, the, by far the largest. Um, in terms of what we've done over these last 10 years, well, we've, uh, on the input side, we've um, raised over um, $10 million in, um, in grant income. Um, on the output side, we've produced um, numerous books, um, publications, um, we normally hold um, one conference for year, per year, so the last one um, was in December on uh, the epistemic dimensions of um, deliberative democracy. Um, this, is, uh, uh, this is, of course, our, the, the second summer school that we've, uh, that, that we've hosted. The first one was two years ago, and I think uh, very successful, but I hope this one will be even better. Um, we have produced uh, uh, 15 PhDs over the years, um, some of whom are here and will be, will be presenting. Um, so that's uh, yeah. So that's the that, that's the centre that we do um, uh, we we do sort of uh, like to see ourselves as the um, as a as, as one of the the, the global um, uh, the, glo the global focal points for deliberative democracy research. And um, over the years, um, many of the apart from the, the people who have been staff members and students here, um, we have hosted um, many visitors. And so many of the leading figures in the deliberative democracy field have um, have, have passed through our centre at some point or another. Um, so, uh, that's who we are. 